Today the car we've got in the shop is a D46 M3. The problem it's having is a misfire on a cylinder or two. We're not sure which ones it is, but what we're going to do is show you how to identify it and determine what the problem is. Now we're talking about a misfire that's probably electric related, nothing that's a major issue down in the uh, cylinders or pistons or anything like that. What we've got here is a vehicle that has a miss, it has no engine noises, it's a smooth running car other than one or two cylinders missing. So we're going to start the car up so you can see what that's about. Now what we've got going on here is I put a glass of water over here so you can see the movement on the water changes as we lose cylinders. Now here's your six coils right here. One coil over each cylinder. Right below the coil is a spark plug. So what I'm going to do now while the car is idling, and we got to listen carefully, I'm going to disable one coil at a time by just disconnecting it. Now, I've already identified that number one's the issue, that's why it's got a marking on it. But this is what it's like if the coil is not reacting at all, because the coil is dead. I've disconnected the coil, you don't see any engine change. It's disconnected, I've got the wire actually off the coil. Okay. I'm going to put it back. Now I'm going to take another coil and disconnect it. You obviously see a drop in RPM. My water glass is shaking quite a bit more over here. I'm going to show you what two missing coils is like. This was actually already two missing coils. This is three. That's the M3 running on three cylinders. So I know that this one is functioning. I know that this one is functioning. But I can tell that this one, when I disconnect it, makes no difference. Now, that doesn't tell us necessarily that it's a bad coil. What it's telling us is that cylinder's dead. We've got a coil, we've got a spark plug involved. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch these two coils. If the dead cylinder follows the coil, it's a bad coil. If the dead cylinder stays with that cylinder, we either have a bad spark plug or there's some other issue, fuel or something like that that failed on this car. So we're going to take it apart and we're going to switch these two coils. Now to remove the coils it's it's helpful to have one of these removal tools which is just an insulated set of pliers that will grab onto the coil and it's also designed to grab on the plug wires. So I'm going to disconnect the connector, pull the connector completely away from the coil. Then what I'll do is I'll grab it from the top here That's the coil right there. We'll take the other one out. Now this was the good coil. I'll replace it in the spot that I'm suspecting has got a bad coil. They do index these coils so you want to make sure that this little notch goes into this little notch right here on the cylinder head. So I'm going to put it in there. You'll feel it fit over the spark plug and then you'll push it down. Now we basically just taken the two coils and moved them. Everything else is where it was before. Now we're going to start the car up again and give it a test. Okay, we've got our coil swapped. Now I'm going to disconnect the connectors one at a time. Okay, now our, we have a, a functioning cylinder number one because now we've got a miss after we disconnect number one. Before it was dead all the time. Now I'm going to disconnect number two. No reaction at all. So what we've got here is we know that coil number two now, which was originally number one, is a faulty coil. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to check one more time, make sure number three, there we have a miss. So we've got one dead coil. It's now number two. Now what we're going to do is turn the engine off and we're going to swap out coil number two. Here's a new coil and this one happens to be a Bosch coil. We're going to install this, push it down to the bottom. We want it to index on our little index mark down there. It'll push down. You'll feel it kind of snap down in there because it, it does have a rubber boot that slips over the spark plug. You want to make sure it snaps all the way down. 
Then what we're going to do is do our connector. We've got it connected. Now we're going to start the car. Now you're going to notice that we don't have any miss anymore. The car is really smoothed out. Now I'm going to test it one more time. There's our miss. We should have a miss here also. There it goes. That tells us now that we got all six cylinders working. Now what you will have to do is reset engine code lights because you've obviously had misfire codes, possible of catalytic converter failure. All of those lights will have to be reset because that's the result of what's happened here. So the reason these coils like to fail is mounting the coils right on top of the cylinders brings engine vibration into the coil and heat from the engine into the coil. On earlier vehicles where a coil was mounted remotely or off to one side on the fender, it didn't have to do with all that direct uh, engine heat and it didn't have to deal with all that engine vibration. You've got to remember when this car is doing 7,000 RPM and you're really moving along on the track, you've got a lot of activity going on there, a lot of engine noise, a lot of engine harmonics, and a lot of engine heat that's transmitting directly into that coil. So the car's been finished. All you have to do now is reset your code lights and you're ready to go.